New at 10, aggressive thieves strike, stealing catalytic converters off of the 15 YMCA buses. Tonight, the nonprofit agency is pleading for help as it spends upwards of $50,000 to replace them and beef up security at several of its facilities. But the Y hasn't been the only target. These thieves have been very busy. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us with details and the warning for any of us who park outside at night. Shame on them. YMCA director Jenna Cooper disheartened over the theft of 15 catalytic converters from its fleet. We had one bus that was missing a catalytic converter at one of our locations. Thought it was really weird. It was obvious that it was cut out. The first incident happening a few months ago, but the Y has seen more than a dozen more thefts at its facilities in Phoenix and Scottsdale in recent weeks. And catalytic converter thefts have become more common across the valley. Really the last December, January, and into February, thefts have gone through the roof. Scottsdale police working dozens of cases, including the Y. YMCA, uh, other places that employ smaller buses or fleet because they're going to be unattended for long periods of time. Police say the precious metals in the converters are the driving force behind the crimes. The scrap value or the resale value of a catalytic converter has also gone up, running about $100 to $300 per converter. The theft halting activities for kids. We have had to cancel programs, tell kids that um, they can't come to the Y because we're in a crisis. We literally can't pick them up. And creating financial headaches for staff. We're working with um, with our insurance company to try to get funding in place so that we can get the buses fixed immediately so we can get these kids back at the Y. The YMCA is currently waiting for parts and labor and is hoping to get donations to get those buses back up and running for the kids. As for personal vehicles, police say to keep them parked in well-lit areas with high foot traffic. Rachel Cole, 12.